Alright, I'm back to another video. This is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. We're all familiar with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, aka the Rock Hall at this point. It's in Cleveland and it was established on April 20th, 1983. The thing is, I'm not doing this video as a history lesson. Instead, this is a rant video about the place. You might ask why I'm ranting about the Rock Hall. Well, the reason why is mainly because of how it is in modern day. You may have noticed that various electronic, rap, and pop artists have been inducted into the Rock Hall in recent years, while various rock and metal artists have been wrongfully snubbed. Which is fucking bullshit. Because of this, the name of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has become a misnomer. And I blame the corporate pigs that are in charge of that place. However, not everything about the Rock Hall is bad in modern day because there are talented artists who have been inducted in recent years. Notable examples include Metallica in 2009, Alice Cooper in 2011, Beastie Boys and Red Hot Chili Peppers in 2012, Nirvana in 2014, uh, Joan Jett, The Black Hearts, and Green Day in 2015, Cheap Trick and, and uh, Deep Purple in 2016, Pearl Jam in 2017, The Cure and Radiohead in 2019, Nine Inch Nails in 2020, and Foo Fighters in 2021. What's interesting is that when Foo Fighters were inducted, that was actually the second time Dave Grohl got in. The first was when Nirvana got in seven years earlier. Now there's uh, other artists including ACDC, Black Sabbath, Elton John, and The Beatles who got in in uh, years or even decades prior, but you get what I mean. However, that's all the positive things I can say about the Rock Hall in its current state. When it comes to Beastie Boys, although they were a rap group, they have touched upon rap rock, which is technically a subgenre of rock music, so there's that. However, there's a long list of artists who have been wrongfully snubbed over the years. Notable examples include Soundgarden, Motorhead, Devo, Rage Against the Machine, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Jane's Addiction, and MC5. What a load of random corporate bullshit. In fact, Rage Against the Machine, Devo, Judas Priest, and MC5 have been snubbed multiple times. Hell, even Dave Matthews Band, who got the most amount of votes for 2020, got snubbed. I don't think the corporate pigs in charge of the Rock Hall know how voting works. No surprise there, since those corporate pigs are fucking morons. I voted for five artists in 2020. Soundgarden, Motorhead, Nine Inch Nails, Judas Priest, and MC5. Out of those five, only, only Nine Inch Nails managed to get in. Now for 2021, there are only four artists I voted for. There's uh, Foo Fires, Devo, Rage Against the Machine, and Iron Maiden. And only Foo Fires managed to get in. The next scene is going to be me voting live on camera. Okay, so this is, uh, so, so is going to be me voting live on screen. You can see that Beck is uh, one of the nominees, so I'm voting for him. So, you know, I actually got to see Beck in concert back in uh, August of 2019. I'm also voting for MC5 again. You know, I got to vote for Rage Against the Machine and Devo, because these guys have been wrongfully snuffed multiple times. Same with Judas Priest. And what's interesting about Devo is that my dad actually had uh, Gerard Cassell on his radio show in the past, which I think is really cool. Okay, so these are the five that I am voting for. I'm going to submit this. You can see the, the current standings right here. So, yeah. There's um, how many people have voted, because, you know, there's people who have voted multiple times, because, you know, people do this. You know, people actually, uh, you know, they vote multiple times and uh, stuff like this. So, you get what I mean.
So you can actually uh, vote here on uh, the Rock Hall's website. Now that that's over with, I switched out the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame wasn't run by corporate pigs. And instead managed by people who have actually worked in the, uh, with various rock and metal artists. And for fuck's sake, it's called the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And it strictly be for rock and metal artists. Yes, I know that Beastie Boys were a rap group. But I mentioned earlier that they have touched upon rap rock. So I'm counting them under rock artists. There are some artists I would like to see get inducted, or at least nominated, such as Rice Against, The Pretty Reckless, System Up and Down, Psycho Stick, Alice in Chains, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, Deftones, Disturbed, uh, Garbage, Corn, Rob Zombie, Tool, Primus, uh, Linkin Park, Beer Factory, Simple Minds, Pantera, and Pixies. Even though some of these artists have a very slim chance of actually getting nominated, let alone inducted. I remember someone on YouTube suggested that Bush should get inducted. And that would be awesome to see given the fact that Bush is one of my all-time favorite bands. And another person over on Twitter suggested that Weezer should get in. And I agree with this, because the Weezer are very talented, and I really like their music. Hell, I even got to see those guys in concert along with Pixies back in June of 2018. The way the Rock Hall is these days, it's just not worth visiting in modern day. Besides, I'm better off visiting the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force, which is at Wright Patterson Air Force Base near Dayton, Ohio. That museum is much older and hasn't attracted as much criticism or controversy as the Rock Hall, nor is it run by corporate pigs. Last week, I asked a friend of mine which he'd rather visit the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force or the Rock Hall, and he chose the first option. This is understandable uh, given the fact this friend of mine is also an aviation enthusiast like myself. Now is the part where I question you. What are your thoughts on the Rock Hall in modern day? Which artists do you think should be inducted? What do you think can be done to improve the place? Should the corporate pigs in charge of the place step down? Now let me know in the comments. If you like the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell to notify of future uploads. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon with another video.